folks thank you for joining me today as i speak about how to travel light first some shameless self promotion my name is preetha i'm a doctor i live in london and in this channel i speak about things that are dear to me now i'm someone who loves to dress up and just be on top of my fashion game all the time when i travel however i like to enjoy a certain kind of freedom which is not possible if i'm bogged down by the weight of my luggage which means i travel real light i begin with the essentials which are easy to forget in the excitement of an upcoming holiday and the stress of packing so they are always the first things that i keep in the packing area Lots of my travels are hand luggage only and in order to breeze through security I keep all liquids including toiletry and cosmetics neatly stacked in travel size bottles in this resealable plastic bag. I hate the idea of single use plastic and have been refilling the same bottles and putting them in the same bag for years. Many people seem to forget about medicines when they are traveling. Uh, you must always make sure that you have more than enough supply of your daily medication and also carry other basic medicines like paracetamol and wound plaster especially if you're traveling overseas if you have a functional uterus you should also include your menstrual hygiene products if you travel outside your country you need to check the voltage and plug socket of the destination um country and take with you um, a proper adapter and do not forget the chargers of all the electronic devices you are going to carry i've seen it happen too often i don't usually count hair dryers and straighteners as um packing essentials but um recently i've had some bad experiences with very basic hair dryers provided at hotels i probably have the most uncontrollable hair in the world and um beach destinations with high humidity um uh, another good place for my hair anyway so now my travel size ghd hair dryer is part of my travel must have sleepwear is another essential item that can easily be out of mind when packing for my holiday bedtime i prefer loungewear so i can just pretend to go for the casual chic look when i'm um out for breakfast the following morning uh, i've also recently realized that the soft fuzzy hotel bathrobes are a good alternative to sleepwear as part of my travel light plan i almost always wash my underclothes when i'm traveling and i think it's a smart idea to carry with you a small amount of detergent last but certainly not the least among the essentials is my eco conscious kit which includes reusable cutlery straw water bottle and maybe even a wine opener then comes the most important and perhaps the most challenging part putting together a light yet fashionable holiday wardrobe Before selecting my clothes, I eyeball the itinerary and have a rough idea of what activities I might be doing. And for obvious reasons, I check the weather forecast. Once uh, the prep is done, I select the clothes following a seven-step mantra. I select clothes which are lightweight, not easily creased, and take up less space. Uh, my least favorite item of clothing for travel is. Hold your breath. The jeans. They are heavy. They take up too much space and take ages to dry. I'll only wear jeans on short trips when I know that I'll be putting on the same pair every day. I also think that uh, the fitted jeans um, are an uncomfortable choice for long haul flights. For which my current favorite is the pair of hiking trousers with loads of pockets for my mobile, wallet, passport, and boarding pass. If I'm traveling for 7 days, will I pack 10 different outfits? No, of course not. 
I'll take a maximum of say five tops and two or three bottoms and combine them to come up with new looks every day. I always carry more tops than bottoms as sightseeing all day can make me sweaty um, and smelly and I don't want to drive Vikram away. I still want to be married at the end of my trip. Um, most of the times I'll also include a light silk dress in case there are some evenings out. My favorite travel accessories are scarves. I love how multifunctional they are and that I can use the same item as a hairband, neckwear and belt. A big scarf is nearly always part of my airport look as I do feel quite cold in flight and then I just use it as a wrap. Um, you can also think out of the box like maybe use the same fabric flower as hair ornament and as a brooch. And this applies only if you have a travel companion. Over the years, Vikram and I have consciously built our unisex fashion collection that includes scarves, hats, belts, and even perfumes. Because of obvious size difference, we can't use each other's clothes, but I did wear his shirts on a few occasions. And obviously, if you're traveling with someone who wears similar clothes, the possibilities are endless. Perhaps the most important tip, especially if you're traveling to a temperate region like anywhere in the United Kingdom, here, notwithstanding the season, there can be significant temperature difference in the same day. So I advise you take inspiration from an onion and turn to layering. How warm each layer is going to be obviously depends on the season, but you should also be prepared for rain and wind. Wherever I travel, I always carry an outer jacket and either a sweater or a cardigan. Yes, you heard that right. Just one jacket and just one sweater because I believe that even without seeing my holiday pictures on social media, my friends would know that I have more than one of each. I'll give you another great hint here. Um, carry your jacket um, in your hand luggage in case it gets too cold in the airport or in your transit city or if you don't get access to an narrow bridge and have to walk uh, from the runway to the terminal. Most of my holiday activities involve sightseeing, gazing around and maybe some parting. In winter I can do everything in my trusted Chelsea boots. Um, but in other seasons, I usually carry a pair of flats like trainers or loafers and sandals if it's a beach destination. Um, if my travel footwear is trainers, then I'll also pack a pair of light evening shoes in case I decide to visit a posh place with a dress code. Um, like this pair of foldable pumps which is perfect for traveling light. You will always find me with a crossbody bag when traveling. I think it's convenient, it keeps my valuables safe and leaves my hands free for all the video recordings. Um, I'll also pack a foldable tote, uh, especially if I don't have a backpack. Um, it's handy to keep the jacket, the scarf, the sweater when I'm out sightseeing and the mercury rises um, and in case I end up buying too many souvenirs. Um, in the luggage, there will be an extra pack for my dirty laundry. Finally, let's move on to the packing bit, which is the easiest part really. Uh, my personal preference is to keep and organize everything in the packing area before I actually put them in the bag. I can either fold or roll my clothes. Uh, I've tried both. I don't think one is better than the other. It all depends on what kind of clothes you're carrying. Uh, but remember that you can utilize every single inch of space that includes the inside of your shoes. Um, and of course, keep additional empty space to accommodate your souvenirs. You definitely do not want to end up uh, paying for extra luggage on your flight back home. If you're struggling with space and weight allowance of your check-in luggage, wear the heaviest and bulkiest items for the journey. 
Unfortunately, um, luggage gets lost in transit ever so often. Um, so I always carry a spare change of clothes in my hand luggage along with all my tech gear and their chargers and adapters. Very important information in case you are not already aware, power banks are not allowed in check-in luggage and must always be put in the hand luggage no matter how heavy or bulky they are. Um, I know some people sneak theirs in the check-in bags. Unfortunately, lithium batteries are combustible and in case, just in case it catches fire in the cargo area, it may not be noticed till it's very late. That's a risk I think no one should take. Um, and also if the power of your power bank is more than 100 watt hours, then you need airline approval before you can carry it in flight. To make your life easier and to avoid annoying other people in the security check queue, Keep your tech stuff like tablet, e-readers, laptop and of course the toiletry bag in the most accessible part of your hand luggage. Thank you for watching this video. I've added my comprehensive packing checklist to the description of the video which should be a helpful place to start uh, your holiday packing. Feel free to tailor it to your preferences and remember you don't need to carry every single item to every single trip. For more tips and picks don't forget to press the subscribe button, the red one below or you can just click on the roundy thingy up here. If you have found this useful there's a like button too and if you have any comment, any suggestion or any travel packing tips that you want to share with me please please do write to me I'd love to hear from you. Bye.